Davis. What's good? What's good? Oh, yeah. What's good, everybody? Episode three, Braggadocious. Braggadocious. It's your boy, Boomy Trill Figure. And I got our special guest. It's your boy, Braggadocious. He's at. He in the building, man. We're about to get it. For sure, man. What's the deal, baby? What's good, man? I, I, I mean, I saw, I saw a quick post you brought up. Your podcast already, so I was like, oh shit, I'm actually off for a day. You told me when you was off. Hey, hey, I'm glad it came together, man. The stars aligning, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. I'm trying to have this happen more. I'm not for shit show, but man, you can talk about your upcoming podcast, you know, your movie, your movie reviews and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a podcast, uh, AO Peep This. You, you can find it on Instagram also as AO Peep This, A Y O Peep This. Simple, quick to the point. You know what it's about. Me just trying to show you some shit that you probably you probably ain't seen before. You probably didn't even notice, man. I, man, matter of fact, you ever looked into because uh, you talk about movies and stuff on your podcast, right? Yeah. Man, you ever looked on? Uh, I guess like different social sites and you be seeing people be doing like I just seen a lot of crazy stuff because like after you told me you like you was gonna do like a movie review, yeah. I like I already looked at premise and stuff on YouTube, so yeah. I was familiar with it. But I didn't know they had people on, like TikTok doing like shorter ver- form versions of that. Oh yeah, and I was do. like. Oh, okay. So this is what he he means because I was watch, I watched this one chick. She was talking about King of the Hill the whole time. It was, it was King of the Hill and uh, I think the Simpsons. She was specializing in. Yeah. And I said, Oh, that's just dope. That's that's fucking dope. Yeah. There's there's this other there's this other cat I watch on YouTube. Damn, I gotta I gotta look up his name. But he was talking about uh, black sitcoms, and uh, that made me more interested because like um, there's so much in black cinema that we have but that we don't know about and we don't reference a lot of a lot of so uh, like uh after watching him it, it made me want to bring like a, a presence on black cinema also oh yeah for sure it'd be a lot right there's some crazy shit i was on netflix a few days ago and they had this movie that like threw me in for a loop i didn't watch it yet i don't remember the name but it had me uh, baffled because this is a scary story. So it's a South African model in France, and like she's like well known as as a model. And uh, they set up on this certain like in a certain area, a cliff somewhere. I want to say they take a photo of her, and somehow she ends back in time, back in time in the slavery era. Get the fuck out of here! Hell no! Nah. <laughs> and now she has to figure out how to survive that shit. How to survive that error? Yeah, that's crazy. In my head, I'm like, bro, that's fucked. Because like, it like times hasn't changed now. So what makes you think like at that? It's like, gonna it, be better. Yeah, because I think that like so they were set in like the 1960s, 70s, possibly. So like the like the era hasn't changed much. But to be a famous model. From like I want to say South Africa and straight up just get teleported to a to an era you've never been in and you got to figure out how to get out of it at the same time it's pretty wild. I don't remember the name of it. I don't got Netflix on my phone. So. Nah, that's crazy. We know uh, while we're in the Netflix topics uh, and the Black Cinema topics, it's like uh, I've been looking at Netflix. Right, it's yeah. been a lot of okay. My ass been kind of retarded, right? Yeah. So I've been thinking I'm looking at like it is black film, yeah. but I didn't know I was looking at. Africa, African like short short films slash TV shows, yeah. and it's a bunch of that shit on, on YouTube, and it should be good. I watched a couple of them. Uh, I watched one about like dance. It was them like you got served, but it's like they style of dancing out there, yeah. and it's like a whole like TV show. But the like the the shit was in like four K and everything, so I'm like, oh, this shit is on point. Yeah. Then they got another one on there called the OJ's. I ain't got to the OJ's yet. I think it's called the OJ's. Don't have me lying, but OJ. it's another one. It's like a sitcom. Like they just in the house and shit, and they like. A wealth, that wealthy uh, African family trying, like, like, to learn how to be American or something like that. It's something like that. I think I you know. probably seen like a, a quick commercial on it because they, they all dress real, real well. But yeah, it's like yeah. a sitcom. It's like a uh, like Seinfeld or something. That's yeah. how it look. I think I know what you're talking about actually. Because like I be, I just be scrolling through Netflix. I, I didn't damn near got like every streaming service. I feel, I, I hate that uh, that uh, that I've that I got like damn. I fell into their little plot hole of. Grabbing so many, uh, damn, I'm sorry. I know you're good. My brain, uh, so many, uh, just like so many service streaming services because, uh, with that problem, now I'm just watching any and everything and I'm losing money at the same time. I hate that. Oh, no, I feel you, I feel you on that, but I fucked around and got Paramount Plus, bro. There ain't nothing much on Paramount Plus. I mean, they got like 
three good shows that I watch on there. Oh, Paramount Plus. Paramount. Yeah. Oh, I'm tripping through my Peacock. Because, see, I didn't want to get Peacock until I looked at the anime section. I was like, I could do it. I could do it. They got some solid anime on there? They got a lot of old school anime. They got All some right. new ones I ain't never heard of, but some of the anime is kind of getting like, uh, I can say redundant, but I, they kind of the same because they had a basketball show that kind of looked interesting. Kuroko no Basket? No. No, I think that's on the Netflix. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, you, I don't it, remember the name. Do it's, they it's, look like they dress like the Chicago Bulls? No, no, no. That's the old school. I know what you're talking about. Slam Dunk. Yeah, I read Slam Dunk. So. Slam Dunk is dope. But Slam Dunk was like the, the best. It was, the, it was like the champion one. But um, I'm looking at your screen. You know, Snoop. Wait, nah. I saw a picture and it was saying Snoop Dogg's in The Mandalorian. Oh, season nah. three, nah, that ain't happening. I don't even know. I'd be, I'd be so hyped if that happened. Like, I, I, I saw this picture. I, I, I don't know. I saw a picture. Snoop Dogg's on the Mandalorian. He, he was in like a, a Mandalorian suit of armor. She was. But you know what? I, I seen, I seen a post on social media. They saying, they were saying Snoop Dogg is in every goddamn. Fa- oh shit! That's a, like, I don't know if that's real or not. Though, I mean, I can go through the comments. But them hoes ain't as reliable as you would think. I don't know. The only reason I don't say it might not be real because he got a D on his arm. Yeah. But at the, at the same time, the shit look hella real. Yeah. <laughs> it might be real. Because, you know, in Star Wars, they don't really use letters like that. So to see that D on his arm is kind of throwing me off. I'm yeah. like, it might not be real. But it could be. I mean, it's good to think about why. Bro, we had Samuel L. Jackson in Star Wars. Why we can't have Snoop? Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a dark green or a lightsaber or some shit. That'd be cool. Oh, no. Nah, yeah, no, nah, they, they should have made him a Jedi. That's what I'm saying. He, he on the Mandalorian, he should be like a, a long lost Jedi or some Hell shit. Yeah. I, there's, 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 there's words of saying that, uh, uh, what's his name? Samuel's character is not dead. And, and the lore, they're, they're saying that he's still, you got to watch that. Uh, go to the left. Yeah, the Kingan, uh, uh, Kingan Ashura is practically Baki. No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I was watching. I think I finished season one or uh, part one, and uh, I stopped watching it because they this shit. I don't know if it, I think it came, it came out before Baki. Yeah. But by the time I found out about it, I was watching Baki already. Then I tried to watch this, and I couldn't really do it because Baki was already going super hard. So I was like, "Fuck." Yeah, it's it's, it's kind of like fuck. I can't watch two things. I finished, so I finished Baki, and it took me like a month or two to get to that one. I was like, "Damn, it's pretty sick." Because both of their concepts are real cool. So Baki is using true like fighting techniques and styles to that are real, but they over hype it. They oh they over they over they over hype it. Make it like far from a human's con- well to make it better explained to a human. I guess you could say like say if we watch it, we wouldn't be able to understand what they're talking about if they didn't put it in that type of over the top form. Yeah, cause Baki do a lot of explaining. They explain everything. Every like they shit. explain like the littlest shit on there. Like when they were shadow boxing, I was like, bro, this is the- <laughs> I'm glad they explained it. Cause I was like, <laughs> now nah, it makes sense. Cause, bro, that trend, the uh, the fucking was uh not tarantula. What the fuck you call that shit? A fucking uh, the praying mantis. The praying madness. Yeah. That, bro, I was like, if if you was like a person on the street and he watched him on the side, like yeah, nigga on crack, <laughs> nigga also <laughs> he on crack. <laughs> Bro, he's smoking K two like Baki smoking K two like mom. What the fuck, bro? And then you got uh, the King and Ashura. What's cool about it is they actually use mixed martial artists as uh, as reference. So like they put them in like when it when it came to all the fighting, those are all mixed martial artists doing their uh, uh, doing actual movements. Yeah, doing the actual movements. So they're creating an actual fight within it. That's why it's so I guess fluid in animation. Because they're doing shit that you actually you can actually do also in man. real time. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, you know what else I like? I mean, actually, I like. Hold up, I had another thought on my mind. Okay, do you agree with this? Yeah. Is Baki racist? Baki ain't racist. <laughs> What's Baki. your take on it? Because <laughs> me and my brother had like a debate, a debate about this, <laughs> and we trying to debate if they like they riding the line yeah. or they just fucking with us. Like, <laughs> so like I think Baki. Uh, I think Baki. Uh, what is it? So the new stuff that's coming out, I think this is old material that they're going that they're going off of. So mm-hmm. they're just going because when I saw George, uh, what is it, George Bush, I was thrown I, in for a loop. I I was lost. I was I, I wasn't sure I was watching the same shit, <laughs> but I don't. I, it's hard to say because my friend said the same shit when we were playing online. He was like, "I ain't watching Baki no more. Baki racist," and I was like. 
What the fuck are you talking about? And then we get to that scene where he's like fighting for his wife, but his wife is just like big ass white chick. That's that's pretty much a dom a dom to him. So it's like, oh shit, maybe you're right. Like I, I don't know, but like he wasn't. I don't know. It was. It's a. It's, it's, a, it's a fine line, bro. I was shocked with the Muhammad Ali shit too. Okay, so that's what. Okay, I'm glad you hit that point because that's all kind of like trying to see. Did you like notice that part? Because they, they made him like fucking. Uh, I don't, Whatever my voice just did, that's what they made him do. I, 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 I was, I was sure. that whole Muhammad Ali. Okay, I respect the Muhammad Ali because it was going on, on the right path. Yeah, and then towards <laughs> the end, it went left, and I was like, he went he because like Muhammad Ali's son was like, I felt, I felt the sentiment. He trying to get on his own. He trying to like do his own style of fighting or whatever. Boom, boom, boom. But the way Baki beat his ass. Oh man. I felt the way. Damn. I felt and, so like, what the fuck? Yeah. It, oh. and, then, and his daddy had to say, him. he's like, you ain't gonna kill my son. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. What the fuck? But, like, it's, it's hard to say because it's like, like the, the strongest dude that they got in there so far is um, Mr. Oliver. Yeah, Mr. Oliver. And his dad. Those are literally the only yep. two strongest. So it's it's like, okay. And like, I didn't him and his dad fight? In the first season, or no, Mr. Oliver and his dad, no, right? No. I think he fought somebody else at the end. You talking about the end of the tournament, huh? Yeah, because like he uh, he won, right? I don't think he fought Mr. Oliver because Mr. Oliver was doing some weird shit. Because when they had the they had the Caucasian dude that um, damn, I got they turned like, him into like a dummy. Remember, he was like he was on that robot shit. Yeah, I, I gotta go like go back and watch it, but yeah. I don't know. The only reason I said because okay, this this Baki Hamba. The only reason I, I feel a way about this season, because I, I let the I let the Muhammad Ali shit pass. Yeah. The only reason I feel a way about this season is a lot of chain references, being unchained, and like well, yeah, he yeah, chained up. And I understand the I understand the concept. It's just I'm like, it just, some of it just wasn't hidden right. They had Mike Tyson in oh, jail yeah. acting yeah, scared and shit. Yeah, he was a bitch. <laughs> I was confused because they said like they bring him up in the first of the episode of stating that he's one of like the greatest boxers ever, but they talked about it as if he died already in this world. No, no that's the crazy. That, no, no, that was right because when he did the uh, shadow boxing, he brought him back to life. The exactly. they thought they act like he was dead. I like, guess everybody knew he was in jail. Ah, uh, because because when he got to jail, he was surprised that like there was stronger. He was there. Oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Because remember. Mike Tyson on some weird shit. Yeah. Because I, I feel like I feel like the character they made for Mike Tyson yeah. was politically correct, but wasn't correct to the soul of Mike Tyson. Because like the dude didn't even have the voice. I, I was thinking like he's, he's going to be a big buff dude with a squeaky voice and be like, oh, now I'm ready to take all the action. You know but, what I'm saying? but I think that's just because they couldn't fully do it. Like how like if you... They couldn't fully do it with Muhammad Ali. Not only that, like... Like with George Bush, they changed his entire name. Like it's still George Bush, but Bush is spelled B O U S C H. I ain't peep that because uh, they can't really use it, huh? They gotta yeah, pay. They, yeah, so they 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 get it to work, and you hear it. But like, if you check the script, it's gonna tell you something completely different. Oh, like, just so it won't call any cause any real controversy. But like I was saying. How you bring up uh, the Mike Tyson, like as he was dead or like he was in prison? I feel like this show is was written a long time ago, and someone found it and was like, "Fuck it, just make it into something." Because like they're they're speaking on events that haven't happened yet, like uh, which is you know like like what they thought was gonna happen. So, oh, you right. So that, it probably makes sense. I don't know. That should be wild. I know it's weird. The only thing I don't like about Baki was with the homie shit. He's still in high school apparently. Yeah, yeah. Because the dude a, said, like, oh, 16. he's the strongest high school. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, you're like 16, 17. Bruh. No, no. No, yeah, he's like 16, 17. Bruh, but the last on Baki, ain't he full-blown having sex and shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm like, what's going on here? I mean, some of us are early bloomers. Man, his daddy <laughs> lied. Bro, he, he waited for his daddy to give him the call, and, like, daddy disappeared. Like, that was the freakiest shit in the first Baki. Did you ever watch uh, Baki the Grappler, which is, like, the original OG series? I've seen it, but I, ain't, I really haven't watched and got into it. I need a VPN, because you know how on Netflix they do the thing uh, where, like, if you have a VPN, you can... Uh, 
you can go somewhere else. I mean, yeah. like you can make it's it look different like different locations. Yeah, yeah. So if you put it in the search bar and you type in Baki, Baki the Grappler pops up, which is oh, so it's these, actually on Netflix. Yeah, but you can't watch it here because it's here. So we'd have to be in like Sweden or some bullshit. Why they do that bullshit? That's just so weak. Yeah. So uh, they like, what's wrong it. with they they having just, sex on that one too? He having oh, sex at ten? Oh, it's abusive. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like to make him stronger, he beat his. So his dad beat his mom in front of him to get him stronger, and he was only like ten or eleven. Yeah, he was. He was. He was like like ten or eleven, maybe thirteen. So like he's watching his dad put hands on his mom, and he's trying to like charge him and like squirrel with them, but it's not happening. And um, yeah, he beats her so hard until he kills her. He kills his mom in front of him. And that's why Baki resents him, and that's why he's trying to beat his dad. But oh, so he killed his mom? Yeah, in front of him. That's crazy. He did that on purpose? Yeah, so he uh so he could uh so he could get stronger. I think it is crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was, he did a few other things. He fucked him up when he was a baby too. Like he like he he literally legit put hands on him as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> he was a real abusive father. Yeah, bro. That nigga's evil, man. Testament to black dads everywhere. Oh no, he's worse than a black dad. <laughs> he's like what he what they Asian, Korean? Uh yeah. Yeah, no. Maybe. I do not know. Yeah, that was shit. Right? Man, how you feel about the Cowboy Bebop shit? They say he getting a movie. Who? Cowboy Bebop, he getting a movie. Oh, he's not getting a movie. He's getting a show. No, they say he's getting a live action. Yeah, a live action show. On Netflix. No. I, it's not an anime, right? No, it is an anime. But now it's being made into a live action show. With people. Yeah. Oh, that's going to be like, crazy. So what what you think what you think he going to look like? Oh, they already uh, they already got the cast. This already coming out, bro. It's cool. You da- you haven't seen the trailer? Have not seen none of the oh, trailers. Man. Look, I've been trying to debate people. Debate with people. Is he gonna be black or not? He black? Oh, Jet. Yeah, he's black. You talking about Ed? No, I'm talking about Spike. I'm talking about Spike? Yeah. Oh no, Spike. What the is, fuck? Yeah, Spike. No, Spike is uh being played by Jonathan Cho, homeboy from uh Harold and Kumar. When they dropped this shit on here? Oh damn! They drop OG Gundam. Yeah. Oh shit. I, I know they've been having it, uh, Ava and Galeon on here too for a minute. Man, I've been, I watched so many videos and shit because I, I watched the whole series and stuff. Yeah. And I didn't realize how psychedelic this shit was until like people start breaking it down. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, Because like at the end, apparently the world ends anyway. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. like, huh? It ends every time. I, I mean, that's a spoiler for anybody that hasn't watched it, but you should watch it either way. I know you got to watch it because, like, even us saying in it not going to make sense to people. Oh, no, it's wild. Oh, they really dropped it. Yeah. Oh, I'm about to binge watch this you shit. On, uh, so, so it's funny that Evangelion is on here because um, they also have it all the, like, so they have the entire series on Netflix. But if you go to Amazon, they have the entire movie. Uh, movie uh, set. I already got all the movies on so there. So literally, even to all the the, the w- latest one that just came out, that's on there too. So that's the final ending to the entire series, and it's honestly it's probably one of the best uh, endings I've seen for a series ever. That's lasted as long as it has. I fucking hated Baruto. You watched this one? Uh, no, no, I have not. I haven't finished it. And I've really been doing a poor job on like watching my anime like I'm supposed to. Oh, that shit look good though. But the, the animation bro, is nice. The intro to this motherfucker right here. Yeah, he do some super Mortal Kombat shit. Okay, like like it's some dudes hold take hostage of the a motherfucking plane. Yeah, and he do like some super like I don't know if he got PTSD or what like acrobatic <laughs> shit. Yeah, and start whooping on everybody. And once he gets to the last person, it's Wait, like is that so, in in the plane himself? Like as a as a human, he's not in the Gundam doing this. No, nah, they in the plane, like an actual plane. plane. Oh, not shit. a not so a they, uh, not so a they're, Gundam. They're scrapping, scrapping. Oh man, they find all type of shit. Like oh, I wanted to get time. into Megalobox. You didn't get into this? Nah. Oh, you have hurt my feelings. Yeah, I you ain't get into this. Nah, bro. This this ain't nothing but the motherfucking um. This is coming from somebody that that heavily thinks that. Black Clover is one of the greatest animes of 2021, hands down. You and my brother, y'all killing me. I ain't watched that shit yet. He keep, bro, he called me every other day. You watch Black Clover yet? No. It's good. It was so bad. It was so bad the first, like, five episodes. Because it does some weird jump cut thing where you you don't even know what the fuck happened. Can I, can I, can I cuss? Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. Bro, you right, can do cool. whatever. On, bro, this, is your, this is your interview. Okay, bet. You can do so, whatever. So it was bad as fuck for the first First episode all the way to like the fifth episode. Once once those whatever the fucks were gone, 
the series just got better and better. Like, it's good. That's crazy. It's good. I mean, it's, 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 it's so good, in fact, that they kept getting more and more money for each episode. And they got a movie coming out now. The show lasted at like 600 to 700 episodes. Nonstop. This shit was like, it, it barely took a break. Huh. At the end Is that 700 episodes? Yeah. Black Clover? Yes. No, wait. Maybe I'm lying. I could. I got to. I'm really behind Black Clover. Is that 700 episodes? I, I, wait, wait. Let me see. I, but why are you looking for that, man? Megalobox ain't nothing but the hood story, bro. <laughs> he was in the hood. It's, it's really like, he, they, they in debt to the mafia, right? And pretty much his, 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 his plug... Helps him reach his dream by telling by by because they they go into debt and they be like and they like. Oh they, wait, bro! I, I big capped. It's it 170 episodes. Nah, bro. Nah, nah. nah. But they go into debt. They pretty much go into debt, and he pretty much fight his way to his dreams and becoming free. But it's still Megalo Box. It's still in kind of sad because his uh his mentor just you no know, loses life. Oh, so like every like. Fucking uh, Rocky, right? Yeah, I guess you could compare it to that to like the Rocky story. Rocky, Rocky wait, no, nah, he didn't lose his guy though. He let somebody die. He, Rocky let somebody die. Yeah, that's the whole reason for the Michael B. Jordan spinoff was that like he let his dad die, Apollo, when he could have threw in the towel a lot, lot earlier to uh, to save save his pops. Oh, uh, I did not know that's what happened. Yeah. Wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong shit, bro. I'm really, I'm big looking right now. Oh, no, right, wait, I can go to Country Road. Why the fuck am I on these like pirated sites? <laughs> you, got, you, it's, it's the, the struggle is still hey, stuck with me, My brother do not want to pay for shit. Like, like, uh, motherfucking pirated sites is where he go. That's his way. Like, bro, I'm paying. I'm paying from Country Road like, premium. They we got shit to offer, really. Bro, this right here. Yeah. Bro, that's the this the best one to me. I I, I should have got Funimation. I, I you know what? I, I, I dropped the ball. I'm not going to lie. But, but they do have some shit on here that Funimation don't got, and that's why I hate streaming service right now. Because they all you, they, they like they flip flopping, and every year shit switching around. But like they, but like you know, they're now having their own thing where they can make their own originals, which is uh, practically like. Okay, so like like fucking Disney, like Disney Plus, like you got all this stuff from Fox, Hulu, and uh, and then you got like stuff that you can only find on Disney Plus, like like their own breaded shows that they just made, and like everybody's like, oh fuck, but that show looks good. Like I got Apple TV. The only reason why I got it is because when I got it, uh, uh, um, it gave me. I, my, once I got the iPhone, it gave me free Apple TV for you. You in school still, right? No, you got the school email, right? No. Do you know how to access the school email? No. What school you went to? Bro, I, I don't even know if it counts. I only went to Lone Star for like a. Oh, that's a the school. school. Okay, that's the school. I'm, I'm gonna put your game right. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna put your game because this yeah. what people forget, right? Yeah. I learned this at TSU, so this college did help. It helped a little bit. Okay. Right. Okay. Go on your school website, right? Oh, I do. I don't even, Fi- oh, huh? wait, you, Go on your school me, website, right? Yeah. Find out how to log into your email, right? Got it. I'm giving everybody a game. Once you find out how to log in your email, right? You can call to him and be like, you don't gotta tell him you uh you out of school or nothing. Don't say none of that shit. Just be like, hey, I'm trying to access my school email. Bro, it's been da, like da, da. Seven years. Right. It don't matter. Don't matter. This shit like social security numbers. You end up for okay. Right? So you tell him you you tell him you need to access your school email, right? Yeah. He's gonna help you, right? Once they help you, uh the sign up for the services with your student your student email, because everything runs with student email. And this thing about it, once you get your student email unlocked. Hook up your 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 primary email yeah. to your school email, so you ever get locked out or anything ever happen, all them emails will still forward to your main email. Uh-huh. that's yeah. That's how I learned. That's how I did. That's how I did my. That's how I do my emails now. I'm not going to fry it. I'm huh? just re-listen to this. Oh, oh no, I'm this like, gonna be up. So yeah, that's what I'm re-listen, I'm re-listen so, to this listen, bitch. And I'm gonna get I got that you. information step one, one time. Step one. Go online. See how to access this, or call your school to access your school email. Boom, boom, right. Step two. Step two. They're gonna tell you how to access your email. It's mostly gonna be. T- it's probably gonna be tied to your like social security number, or they they, they probably just gonna tell you how to. Or or if you remember your school ID number, it's gonna be tied to that. 
Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that too. All right. They can help you find that too. You probably got. You probably have to just let them know what t- what year you went to school or whatever. Uh, this and other, or oh, find some type of document that you used to have from like, like, like your tra- you know, your, tra- your transcript. If you got any type of transcript left, okay. Your, your 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 shit is at the top. Okay. And all that's all you need is your your all you need is your, your school ID number. That's probably what you need. Your school ID number, your social security number. Once they give that, step two, hook up your primary email. To your school email Just in case anything happen Where you can't access Your school email no more It'll always go to your Primary email and you can always see them, all, the, all the emails Okay And then once that happen Boom You got this on Student discount You got everything on Student discount uh-huh. And you good And that's how I live my life sir Save money I will not pay $10 for nothing Man That shit is $5 <laughs> Ooh I'm telling you Crunchyroll is a Is a beast I already know They do student discount But hey if they do Do it nah. Yeah, come all the music services do do school do uh, student discounts. I'd be like, all right, yeah, damn. I didn't, I've been placed on uh, game. So you've been placed on the game. Yeah. Oh I yeah, you put it. out game. Yeah, I appreciate it. So. I, I, no, I got you for sure. I'm, I want you to be successful, my boy. I'm a I want you to be successful, man. Say, bro, you be trying to come to start the show, and this is what I don't like. Because they can hear your breathing. You not even buy a mic. Yeah, they, they can hear like, your breathing. Damn, that nigga Zach out here. Big breasts. <laughs> yeah, and it's not even you. You know, he out here like just trying to be Falsifying the star. Me. Yeah, trying to be the star of the show. And I'm like, bro, why? Oh, don't why? Fall, but uh, I know we touched on like you doing a uh, like um, movies and stuff, reviews, yeah, reviews yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Uh, what are you trying to achieve with that? Are you just trying to just, just do something I, for the entertainment to put yeah, people on game. Honestly, I like I'm a fan of movies, bro. I got to wait, doggo, doggo. You can't have the mic. No, no, step back, step back. Good, you good. You got your got your words out. Wait, so what? It's pretty much just trying to put people on game to like shit they probably never seen before, like some weird shit, bro. Like I'd be watching stuff from like Brazil sometimes, and uh, they got some sick movies, dude. Like, bro, you know, really I was watching. Movies. I was yeah. watching shows from England. You ever watch the Misfits? The Mis- bro, the Misfits go hard. I haven't bro. finished it though. I'm on like the second season. Second, bro. Season. I, I I stopped. I stopped when they got to the new crew. I see. I didn't know they get a new crew. No, they, they, like some nuke set of kids get in trouble and and go to like. Oh, so what happened to the, to the, the, the OGs? Or what's happening? Right, a bunch of, I mean, a bunch of weird shit happened. Okay, the reason I like the Misfits, that shit yeah. like X Men because yeah. like they all get powers. Yeah. And this weird. So with the um, new crew, do they get like do they get hit with the same thing or do they? I think something similar happened. Oh, damn. but somehow they get a new crew. But everybody gets like, I'm trying to remember the show because I watched it a while back, and it's like um. It's a lot. Yeah. Like it's like it's literally like X Men. They doing all type of retarded shit. They falling in love with each other, having sex and shit. Yeah, yeah. I felt bad for that one girl's powers. Oh yeah, it make the dudes like want to rape her and shit. Yeah, that was wild. She become like a sex demon. Yeah, like I didn't like that. That f- I I felt un. I, that I was weird. But yeah, yeah. I didn't feel uh, uh, safe watching scenes I, like that. I didn't see how she felt safe because yeah, really she cool. was like having sex with dudes. They was just turning demon time. Yeah, real time. I was like, what type of shit is this? Like they put, they put, they 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 went, they went wild. It was, it was, it was, a, it was definitely a weird one. Ah, yeah. Then that one kid, um, I man, one of them had a time travel power, so uh-huh. he was going to time fixing shit. Yeah, yeah. He was wait. He had more than one power though, because like he was originally just whoa, you about to fall. Uh, his his original power was just uh, was just going invisible, right? Hey, anyway, look. I'm oh, you talking you talking the weird one? Okay. Yeah, because no. he uh, he also because he also uh, he also. Uh, he also, uh, what is it? What is it? He, I don't know. The thing is, go watch The Misfits. It's on Hulu. You can watch it there if you got the streaming service. It's a good service to watch The Misfits. It's a good show. It's a really good show. Bro, with the way streaming uh, service is going right now. Real shit. Have you ever heard of uh, uh, Strange Days of Blake Hosey High? No. What the fuck is that? Exactly. Y'all need to watch shit like that. Y'all probably never heard of it. I, I watched it. I was like 12, maybe. It was a weird show in Canada. Homeboy from Living Life with Derek was in it. Derek himself, I mean, was in it. It was, it was a weird show. It was a good show. But that's a testament. Tell you what I'm just trying to do yeah. for, uh, for, uh, for movies, TV, animation, anything, honestly, that, that you can visually watch. What about your music? You going to uh, put people on your music and stuff? Oh yeah, sure. I make music. 
Are you uh, done with that? I'm not done with it. Actually, I was recording today, and I have a homeboy that uh, he uh, he's going to mix some stuff for me. Uh, as soon as I, I find the time to actually fully finish recording it, I, I will tell you, I, I haven't rapped in, like, it's been, like, three years. Like a, or like, a real, like, me giving it my all, it's been three years. Uh, so I don't really promote my music much because... Cause, uh, yeah, I, don't know. Bro, I, I stopped. I mean, I don't say I stopped, but I slowed down a lot. I haven't. I still practice. I still be freestyling and shit yes. like that. But yeah, I, still I have not been like being productive. You know, life hits sometimes. Life, life be hits, hidden, and they be like, "Bro, what the fuck?" Wait, wait. You seen that? Uh, you seen that? Fuck. It's this. I saw it on Tumblr. I don't care what anybody say. Tumblr is still validated. Oh Twitter. no, T- Tumblr has all oh, my my the Tumblr still the juice. All right. So I hate when girls be like, "Oh, you on Tumblr?" I be like, "Yeah." They be like, "Yeah." You freaked out? How? It's because the stuff y'all post on Tumblr. But I'm not posting the nudes. But it's like Tumblr is the the less shady equivalent to Twitter because you can like people knew what you could use Tumblr for. Twitter, you got to do some other weird shady shit. Like it's it's Twitter's the shady brother of 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 Tumblr. Tumblr is still validated. That's all I'm saying. I still need to watch Halloween Kills before uh, before it gets off a of, uh, Peacock. Oh, it, oh, it's free. Yeah. It's a new one. Yeah. Oh, we got. I got pay for that shit. No, no, no. You can just watch it if you. Well, wait, well, you got the you, feather on it. No, no, no. Well, if you got, you got premium. If you have premium, yeah. Watch the premium. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. I lied. I apologize. Bro, wasn't you told me Chucky get in the series? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on. Uh, it's on. Uh, it's, uh, what's the fuck? Uh, fuck. I forget. HBO Max. No, 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 no. It's uh, it's uh, it's one of the weird uh, streaming services. Fuck. It was. It was there in my head. What were you talking about? Chucky and shit. Chucky, sci-fi. There we go. It was on sci-fi. What? Yeah. Sci-fi channel? <laughs> sci-fi. Not only sci-fi is being aired on USA Network also. What the fuck? I was watching my wrestling, man. That's crazy. So yeah. I guess the sci-fi channel is still validated. Yeah, I do. this is the only thing that's keeping it alive, honestly. They put a lot of uh, eggs in their basket. Bro, what the fuck happened with sci-fi and fucking the Superman show? Not Superman show, but the uh, the Krypton show with the daddy. That oh, shit was good. I heard I heard nothing but good things about it, bro. The way they made fucking I forgot the alien I think, dude name. I, uh, uh, Lobo, Lobo. They said people. No, people, not Lobo. Not Lobo. People said that was probably like the only thing that they did not like that much about the show. But I mean, everybody has their opinions. I have, I still haven't seen it, so I'd like to check it out first. Young Rock is a good show. I know the people that's listening to this, that's pretty, that's very, like, off-kilter to what we were just talking about. Oh, yeah, it's all good, man. But it's a good show. Bro, oh, you know what I want to do? What? I got a bunch of film equipment and stuff. I think I'm about to start. Uh, I need to find time to do it, but I want to do a, a short. I want to do a web series, pretty, pretty much a YouTube show. Yeah. But a gangster YouTube show, because I just want to do it. A gangster YouTube show? Yeah, like The Wire or... You know, oh, like you want to do your like own that. series on yeah. on YouTube, man? Nah. Yeah, because well, we like we have no more good dope shows besides Power and fucking BMF. The shit fifty cent. I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't like Power. Yeah, I mean, I, it, I can see why you don't though. I can see but, why. Hey, I, I've watched it. I've watched it at my homeboy's house, and I got immersed in it, and it's really good. But I'm gonna I'm sound black woke for like three seconds. Every TV series that we get as a black hole, it's always about us uh, being shady, uh, backstabbing people, uh, drugs, and uh, it's repetitive, and it's the only thing we see for the majority of our TV shows. There's a sitcom that I've been watching as of late called Neighborhood, and I really love it. And uh, Neighborhood? I don't watch yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's with uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Uh, I know you out here doing some shit. Yeah, and Tisha, not Tisha, which... Which one was Pam? From oh, home. you talking about uh? I know I don't know her real name, but I, I, Tachina Pam. Arnold. Yeah, what? it's Arnold something. It, you got it right. It might be Tachina Arnold, something like that. I, I can't pronounce the first name, but she's lovely in the show. It's it's a wholesome it's a wholesome show. But I mean, we don't always need wholesome shows. We do need them dark alley shows. So I, I guess I mean I, this. I, I play devil's advocate if I'm saying that. I mean, this is what I want to do. Like I understand we got a lot of gangster shows out there. I just I, I got a gangster problem. Yeah, uh, but uh, <laughs> no. But the other show I do want to uh, make is something like The Office. Oh, dude, because I love that. 
I watch the office so much. I see how easy the, the shit is. It's it's pretty, it, but it, but it's intricate. It's very intricate. It it, it, uh, it plays yeah, some, it, some tricky moments. And that's and that's the thing I gotta get because the thing about the office is only like it's in a room, but it's only probably like maybe five, ten scenes. Yeah. If they any if they leave out the office, so if they leave out the office, it's really like only three scenes. It's outside the parking lot. Then it's like that garage area where the black dudes working at and yeah. stuff like that. But it's not really too many scenes. It's really like the main part of the office. And I want, I'm trying to figure out how to formulate a show. It's either I'm gonna do it in my apartment, like in the room. It's gonna be like some shit going on here. Yeah. And like outside, but I'm just trying to formulate a show like that because I feel like it'd be real funny. Just be like, you know what I mean? Like everyday life shit. That'd be shit. Because the, the the what makes it so cool for shows like that is because you're only setting the scene in like three, four locations. So you have so many hours to work one scene in one area and it be the entire thing. And it could be such cool uh, writing just because of it. Because like you, you only, you don't need too much to happen now because everything's already in one place. You just got to make sure it makes sense. I mean, not for shit show, for sure. That'd be sick. That'd be sick as fuck. I don't know for sure Cause like man I mean I be on um, I be doing corny shit Like I look at, be looking at TikTok and shit TikTok be, be having TikTok heavy But TikTok be having get off They be having shit on there Like on some super Like regular shit Like they got another show Like on on there A dude uh, It's called The Grey Matter Like Parks and Rec bro I love the shit out of Parks and Rec Have you seen that? No, nah, that's an old show though Yeah it's practically The Office though When you talk about Like the same setting It's, it's practically The Office Yeah But in a fucking, I don't even remember what it is, but it's it, it was fun. Superstore was a solid show for a little bit. Oh, you watched a lot of American TV? Huh? Yeah, bro. I it, look, I, I love my romances and and in, in sitcoms and yeah. See, it has it. I mean, you kind of like different. See, because when I was growing up, I was literally watching Family Matters. Oh, bro, I love uh, the shit out of Family. Family Matters, Matters Parkers, Moesha. Uh, besides like the black shows, bro, it was. It not was, really Seinfeld, not really Friends. I couldn't get into Friends or Seinfeld. I didn't understand that humor. What was what was the other one? It was another one that was just almost like that. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, uh, not Friends. Uh, House? No, Is not it? House. No, House not. no, it's an old old one. It's like Frasier. No, I was watching Frasier. Frasier fucking funny. Okay, I was watching the shit out of Frasier when I was younger. Right. I, I was like, what the fuck is this? I didn't get Bruh. it, but it was it had me it, cackling. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's like white funny, but it's it, like Frasier was fucking like I don't know why. It was just it was just it. Because the other ones you mentioned, I, I I kid you not, I could not get into. Yeah, yeah. Uh and after Frasier, it was that other one. They had an anim- they had a they had a cartoon uh after it. Uh I want to call it like Doomberg or something like that. Doomberg. It's something like that. Cause you he, ever seen Third Planet from the Sun? Third, yeah. Or is it Third Planet? That That's the one that was like aliens and stuff. Aliens they, living in an uh, yeah. attic or some shit. Yeah. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, nah, that shit was, They wasn't living in an attic. They had a, I think they had an apartment or some shit like that, but they was doing like retarded shit. Yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. That one's that one's cool. Uh, that was, 70 show. I was watching that shit a oh, lot. That, that 70 show was heavy for me. I, I was, was hooked on that shit. My family tried to give me... So the reason why I like like sitcoms like the like shit like that that I just mentioned like Superstore and stuff is I didn't get to watch it a lot as a kid. My parents had fucking Good Times, Sanford and Son. Bruh. They had it on DVD, bro. Each each so like I would watch reruns like every fucking day. Like it was they like, watch I, it over and over again, bro. My grandpa lived with us, so like he needed these old TV shows. So I got I, I that's all I could watch. Sanford and Son, uh, fucking I tell you a, a white show that's really good. Um, Three's Company. Three's Company. Three's I think Company I watched a little so bit of Three's Company. Good. I don't know why. It's a pervy ass dude living with two chicks that are pretty. One's ditzy. One's well, both of them pretty. I look. I can't really explain it. But that and Knight Rider, them motherfuckers are cold. And uh, I would watch uh, the fuck. I even watch Golden Girls with my grandpa. Now I watched a little bit of Golden Girls. They all right. Blanche, a freak. Now I'll put you on some game, motherfucking. Um, yeah, I watch reruns. So like watching Superstore and shit now, it's like damn, I've never got a chance to watch how like this was, and it was kind of cool to see. Now it's I, different. I got I I, had, I got old parents. Yeah. So like, my mom will always watch the Heat of the Night. Heat of the Night. Like at nighttime, oh, yeah. we literally watch the Heat of the Night, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> now it was it was. She had a rotation. Like, this was TV used to be, like, good TV. It was Touched by Angel. Okay, because we used to, I used to transport from my, gra- my grandma's house to my mom's house, right? Yeah. So it was Touched by Angel. Yeah. Then it was uh, 
Touch My Angel, He the Night, and then it'll probably some other shit I'm not remembering. And then my dad, bro, he uh he's from Louisiana, right? So uh what I learned about him was he never had TV, like really, really. So when he discovered TV, that shit was like iPhones for him. Yeah. That's all he was hooked on TV. But what he was watching was like all the old cowboy films. Uh, like the Long Ranger and yeah. shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? That'd be my grandpa too. I'm like, I used to get tired of that I shit. I used to fucking be on the uh, AMC channel watching like old westerns. And then uh, shit, when my brother was with us, uh, we'd watch a lot of Mythbusters and uh, anything on Discovery Channel or Animal Planet. My brother had me like, my brother's trying to educate me like a motherfucker. It was cool. <laughs> not, Kings of the Queens was cool. I used to watch that too a lot. Oh, Kings of the Queens was solid. I never could get into two and a half, man. Uh, damn, fuck. We sound old now. We do right now. I love the fuck out of Harlem Nights. I know Harlem Nights is fucking hilarious. Shot my pinky toe. <laughs> like, like, like you can't. I don't know. You can't see that in movies now and it not be funny. Bro, you know, uh, you used to watch like before before the vampire and shit got popular. You used to watch them uh, TV shows like uh. I forgot. I think the, it's called. Okay, remember Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Oh, Buffy was tough. Oh, Buffy was some other shit, and then they had Angel. Because oh, you know. Angel was. I was watching that. Hey, Gilmore Girls. No, wait, is that the one with the the witches? The witches? I don't know. Is no, no, Angel was the. Uh, no, no, but there's another show with like some women that are witches and they're living together. I don't think. it's Are you talking Gilmore. about? Cause they, they made a. They, they, no, they, they redid the series. Cause they got a black girl on it now. Yeah, but I forgot not, the name of the show. It's not it Gilmore. Three witches? No, it ain't three witches. It's Gilmore something. Girl. No, it's not Gilmore. Because it's on girls. Netflix. It's on Netflix. It's yeah. literally called Witch Something. Is it? Yeah. It's not Bewitched. What the? I don't know. Bro, Gilmore Girls is something completely different. I think Gilmore. Yeah, no, Girls Gilmore probably... Girls is like a sitcom. Like they had the homes and shit. But none of the white people, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Matthew Lillard was in it. No, that's hey, Jerry Pedalecki. If you get some time, watch this. The way of the house husband. Oh, dude, they got like a live action of it. That like the dude that like does the voice for the character and shit does like a live action version of it on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that shit is. When I say you want to laugh, that shit is fucking hilarious. There's there's some else on here on uh, anime wise. Uh, fuck, uh, go through it real quick. I can't think of his name, but he has like these two balls on his head, and he's a tele telekinesis. Oh, I know you talking about. I forgot the name of the show. Bro, it's, that it's, shit is hilarious. It's not scissors. It's it's scissors this one. Is funny too. It's this Saki. one. Yeah, Sakai. Psyche. Psyche. K. I don't know. I don't want to fuck it. I would rather have you fuck it up. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck it up. Psyche. Psyche. I think it's Psyche. Yeah, I was mad with Yasuke. I didn't finish it because I stopped liking it. Why you? Why you? Why you mad about this? It wasn't good, and I love Lakeith Stanfield. Uh, but you, I, but you know, I get shows like I get animes like this. It's it's really cool. Um, I just I I didn't. I guess I I was really more interested in to like his actual story, like uh, Yasuke, like his true true story. So it was cool seeing all. the Afro samurai elements to it, but it took away from the true story of them. So, like, it's not really Yasuke. It's just a new story on someone that they they made up. Because I mean, it's a it's a, like it's it's a cool animation. Uh, I'm pretty I, sure the story's so the old. It's amazing. Like, I'm pretty sure it's like oh, well, they couldn't like really figure out how to put like you know how to put oh, it. Bro. Like it, it would have been sick. They could have had it. Like you ever seen? Because um, I'm, I'm kind of like you. It confused me when I start seeing robotic people. I was like, oh. Have you ever seen um, uh, 47 Ronin? Oh, that's the movie. Yeah, well, I think I've seen Like, there's like, there's the one that came out in like the 50s where that those are on HBO Max, um, where it's like more or less just following, or like the shit, even the one with the uh, Keanu Reeves, the, uh, the new one, like without the mystic elements, it had a story where it's just following this one person and you're trying to like really get his story throughout the entire thing. Out of the 47 Ronin, they could have did that with Yasuke, where it's just, instead of it be these mystical elements and them trying to fight, you just could have showed how he ended up in their world, why he's there. Like, they could have made their own interpretations to it, like, if they don't have full legend on him, but he's a real person, you know what I mean? So it would have been cool to see his actual story. Because, like, they could have named this, like, fucking the, old, uh, the son of Afro Samurai or some shit, and I still would have watched it. Uh, but because his world is more adapt to that than it is, uh, the use case. Yeah, yeah, man, that would have been cool. I mean, the they true story of it, uh, like of his character. They they were making a movie. What? For which one? For Yasuke, they were making a movie for it. Uh, Chadwick Boseman was gonna play as him. 
Damn, my hand was ashy. You hear that? Yeah, that went weird. Yeah, uh, Chad, they had a because it's a they they had it in production the same time they uh, started the uh, anime, and they had already had the script and shit. I think they even filmed some scenes for it. What's <laughs> up, my hands? And she pulled out the lust for it. Yeah, bro. I don't feel like, huh? My, bro, my hands were, bro, them hoes were, were fucking, they were, they were scraping powder off. You already started a fire, huh? Really like, shit. Fuck it. Bro, I, I still, I'm surprised you haven't seen the live action. Like, they've been hyping it up for it. Like, I, I asked for which one? For uh, Cowboy Bebop. I'm not going to lie. It's campy as fuck, and I, and I kind of like it. Like, it, I know for a fact it's not going to be nowhere near, like, the uh, anime, but, um, it, it, it looks like it's still trying to have some fun with it, more or less. I don't know. Some stuff be like start to get too much for me because it'd be like a lot of shit out. Oh, Cannon Busters. That's a good anime, bro. They and, it, they, and it follows a black character, black lead, bro. They could have did better with Cannon Busters. I was disappointed in Cannon oh, Busters. Oh, no, they could have. But I mean, it, for, for what it was, it was it was pretty. It was it was, it was the, decent. The concept was different. <laughs> the concept, it was a different concept. I, I could say that, but I wish they could have. I wish they, it would have went better than what I expected. How did it, or how did, I mean, I don't mind. You can tell me how did it end. Because it it really wanted to be a Cannon Busters, Cowboy Bebop, like, fusion dance. Not Cannon Busters. Uh, what's that shit? Space Dandy. Space Dandy and Cowboy Bebop, like, fusion of a series. I, I think they I think they probably did a good job on... Uh, so, like, you get those elements. like get, Getting some of the feelings across. Yeah. But the whole mission was on the whole time was kind of like, I don't think so. Because I forgot. I forgot. I really forgot. But this in the third go hard. Well, looping third. Yeah. Oh, nah. I fuck with it. Uh, Devil sure. Man Cry Baby. Have you seen that? Psychedelic. Fucking wild. I wouldn't watch that on no type of drugs. Bro, I, I, I fucked around and did that with a, uh, Evangelion, and uh, uh, it, was, it was nice. Like, I, I went and skated right after watching the movie, and uh, you I got the okay. You got the B-Stars yet? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, a lot of people are, you know, kind of on the fence with it because it's animals, and they're seeing, like... Sexually in it, but it's it's pretty legit. I mean, if you into furries, I guess it makes sense. But it's, uh, it's pretty it's pretty I, legit though. I mean, I, nah, it's I watched that Darwin's game. It's horribly good. Like it's bad and good. Oh, I haven't watched it yet. Oh, okay, because like when, when, I'm tell this. This is how I pick my anime, right? When yeah. they start looking like this, yeah. I'd be like, eh. I'd be looking for the shit that looked like it was made in the 2000s. I just look like <laughs> I, I just look for weird shit. Like it's like like it's super weird. Parasite is a good anime, bro. Parasite the Maxim, the hands down one of one of my favorites. It's like it's in my top. It's, it 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 could be number three. I gotta watch or it. Number two. I gotta watch it because when it debuted, it, it was on Toonami. Yeah, and I didn't. That's, uh, how, that's how I remembered it because like it was certain scenes I was seeing and I had deja vu moments. I was like, oh shit, yeah. I remember this. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's probably like if if I had a top ten, this is like number two or three. Yeah, it's probably like, this is probably like the last Toonami show I you know I didn't watch. I want to get into Black Butler. I was I was liking Blue Exorcist. Oh, my brother black. Yeah, my brother watched Blue Exorcist and Black Book. Bu- yeah. So it's they made a new season to it, and it can it, it it takes away what happened from the last the, from the ending of the first season with the new season because they did a movie or some shit. So it, I, the 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 story is different, but I think it had the same problem where they finished the animation before they finished the manga, so they just kind of made their own ending. And now they're trying to rewrite it in the second season, but everybody was so damn. You didn't watch it, uh, My Hero Academy? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still watching that. Bruh. Uh, it's they're, getting getting, good. they're getting so many fucking movies though. Like it's like after each They like, moving they moving real fast. Moving quick than a bitch. I, like I'm not I'm not complaining. I feel like, like I feel like they the next Naruto slash Dragon Ball Z. Because Dragon Ball Z and Naruto is like up there. But Naruto got a shit ton of movies. Nobody's too. beating one piece, but they moving up there. I mean I like One Piece. Is this still a fucking movie? Yes. Oh, I'm about to be in the house. Like, yeah, don't talk to me for like a good week. Bro, they or have two. they have all the Gundam. It looks like almost, almost. Because at, at, at one point, you know who had all the Gundam? It was winning Hulu. I thought it so, was fucking. Uh, yeah, no, they did. It no, was Hulu. Hulu had all of them. Like Amazon too. Hulu had orphans first. Hulu had everything first. I think Amazon has been on like on real sick on some anime. Like they got like. There's one that no one's, I like, you'd have to watch it on, like, those stupid sites. Uh, Vinland Saga. Amazon has that. And that shit was really good. Uh, it, uh, oh, Crunchyroll has a good one. Have you ever heard of City Hunter? Mm-mm. That is, that is one of my top tier anime shows, man. But you know, I want them to bring back, I want them to bring back, uh. I was mad with Masters of the Universe Revelations. 
It had some good campiness. Oh, I didn't watch this. Hold on. It's it's like it's 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 good. But no, it, I did it, watch it, this. What is this shit? Uh, no, the, I didn't watch this. I didn't watch the revelation. I watched the show. Yeah, the the, the animation, right? Not the not the yeah, not, not the this. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched the show. Yeah, yeah. I watched the show. I was mad. Uh, it was good, but it was like it like the animation was cool. The story was cool. Um, I just it, it felt more forced than it needed to be. You know, you know, you know what I thought happened. You know, what we all thought was gonna happen. What? With uh, I like how they debunked everything, right? Yeah. And you knew it was true. And uh, they debunked everything, but I like how it came on. It came on, got straight to the point, died. Yeah. And it was like, oh, y'all was lying. I was lying to all these years. And everybody dis- everybody dispersed. Yeah. But what I liked it was. I didn't like that. Well, they everybody dispersed? Yeah, because it didn't feel like. It didn't feel natural? Well, well, she was mad that he was goddamn He-Man. For what reason? Oh, cause she was lying. I mean, pretty much that was her lover. And, okay, pretty much it's just like this. Like the military, they are serving the king. The king don't know shit. Yeah. But as soon as as soon as his son slash he man die, right? Yeah. They all pretty much got punished, right? Yeah. And I think she and, and the way she curved it was like they really was like punishing her daddy because they was like, okay, it's your fault because you ain't tell nobody this nigga was he man da 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 right. And then she just went off the rails like, man, fuck all this. Yeah, nigga, everybody been lying to me. My daddy lied to me. He man lied to me. The king and stuff been lying to me. So fuck it. I'm just going on my own shit because and nobody can be trusted. You know what I'm saying? She just went against the king but and like, became a whole bounty hunter and shit. Or like, a treasure hunter. She was some type of It felt it honestly felt forced. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I, I don't think I, I don't think I could be that mad. Like, yeah. This is a secret that they told me to keep. I'm sorry that I I didn't break my promise. I I mean shit. I I, I don't know. I, maybe maybe I'm. I think it's mainly because of her her father. Because like he didn't tell her nothing. Oh no, it's weird. Because like I, I understand how you feel. Because when it first come on, everything I moves. You, I can't tell you shit. Everything moves so fast. It, it happened real real and, quick. And as I said, if you're not watching the old He Man, you're not really like getting the whole concept of it. But besides that, it just I kind of I, I understand why she left. But they could have been handled a little bit better, or they could have gave it a little bit more time for that to happen. Because like, like him dying is cool. They could have gave it like two episodes for it to marinate, and and then be like, oh shit! So it's been all these lies, like because like everybody's still trying to keep that secret about it being him as He Man, and then let it marinate like like third episode or so, so we could all be like, oh shit, okay. Because her her actually flipping the script was just so fast. Yeah, it was fast, and it was weird too. Because this whole time, I thought, I thought that it was gonna occur in a way to where she was gonna become like she man or, or someone, yeah, she were or something. Yeah. I thought it was gonna do some weird shit like that, but it, surprisingly, it didn't. Yeah, and it, it curved to a way where it became about like, let's get our feelings off, let's become a family again, let's try to save the world because. I didn't know they planted lived off of magic. So now yeah. since magic don't exist, everybody dying. Yeah, and I, was, shit. I was looking at it like, damn, like, she fuck? she destroyed the world. Like she destroyed his magic. I mean, she didn't destroy the world. Really, Skeletor He Man did it because they were trying to well, take control even, of the orb and shit. Not even that. It was just Skeletor. I, I do that ending though. That is that is pretty crazy. Oh, I won't, oh, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't talk I'm, about it. I'm ready for season two because Skeletor came back with the power. So yeah. I want to know how this. I want to know because it's. If they do it how I'm thinking they're gonna do it, I think it's gonna take two or three seasons before they take control of back the world. I think we're gonna go through a, a Samurai Jack slash Aku moment. Oh, that'd be sick. Where Skeletor finally got what he always wanted all his life yeah. is to be the king of everything. And he's gonna become the king of everything. It's gonna be like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they all gonna have to band together. What they should do, since they live off magic, yeah. and there's a magical world and shit like that, just bring the Thundercats in there. Go save everybody. Sick. That'd be so sick. I, <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, it'd be cool. Like, it'd be cool to see him in the Thunder Cat. think about it, it's damn the same concept. It's a magical sword to give them powers. All you gotta do. Oh, that's all I'm waiting for. It, oh, you see the cats come out? Like, what the fuck? Oh, then cool. the cat people. Well, like, like, yeah, it could be like they, like they've been handling shit on their planet, and their planet lives off a different type of magic. Well, their planet lives off of this type of magic, and with that magic like being destroyed and recreated. Sends a signal to their sword, and now they're like, "Oh shit, we gotta come and help these people out." Yeah, that'd be sick as fuck. And they so called kill He Man again. I said, "Bro, how you come back and get killed again?" Like, right, bro, come on, that didn't make no sense. And then, you know, it's crazy. I don't know if it's like a black thing going on. I appreciate it, but I was <laughs> like, in my in my head, I was really like, "Did Council Grayskull really had to be like a black man?" 
Hey, man. But I like the character design, so I won't keep them. Hey, yeah. Because I thought they was forcing it when she, when the old girl got a black uh, sidekick, and I was like, bro. Yeah. Okay, we doing too much. And then once uh, he came out, I said, okay, so the original he man was a black guy. I'm like, why are y'all doing this? It's crazy. Yeah, to fight 400 years of slavery somehow. Yeah, but like he was like the first. So I'm like, shit, you did pay the way for everybody to be here. Yeah, yeah. You you didn't pay the way for real. No, I really did like that aspect because it let us know that it, that mantle wasn't just one person; it was multiple. Oh, I like that too. But I like what they told him too. They like, hey, once you leave, you can't come back. Yeah, you, but at least he can't he can't go back to Warrior Heaven. I think yeah. he'll go to regular Heaven. Yeah, time. which isn't which isn't bad, man. Warrior Heaven Heaven is cool, but I, I ain't gonna lie, Warrior Heaven was kind of like a lame. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it was just them. I was like, look. Where the females at? <laughs> I, would, I would have felt lied to. <laughs> like, hey, bro, y'all didn't tell me nothing. For real, though? That's how y'all gonna do me? <laughs> hey, for right here, something. Man, what you, what's your, uh, what's your, uh, your feelings on drag, uh, Demon Slayer? I'm gonna say Dragon Slayer. Demon oh, Slayer. Demon Slayer is cool, too, man. I, I, when I get a, get a little bit more cash on me, I can't wait to, uh, to get the game because the game looks fun. And then, like, they're doing, I forgot which, they had a game came out. Which, a lot of games are doing some cool shit as of late. Like I don't know if you played Ghost of Tsushima. Uh-uh. Whew, such a good game, beautiful. Uh, story's good also. Uh, the game so the game itself though they dropped like I want to say a, like a few months later they dropped some free DLC for it, which was a multiplayer expansion. Oh, okay. So like, not only did you get a game, they brought they gave you something else. They gave you a multiplayer. They gave you a multiplayer a DLC for free, bro. And it has different things that you can do, and you can build your character, and you can get shit from those uh, online game modes and use it for your character in game, like like different costumes and masks and shit, which is sick. And then they come and they they add another DLC, which is like twenty hours. And of that twenty hours of gameplay, it's only ten to fifteen but fifteen dollars to purchase. Which is sick. That's not a lot of money to give you 20 more hours of a game that you're going to replay to get back to that story. Oh, yeah. I got to get into that. That's pretty sick. And then, like, uh, with the... Uh, fuck, what was it? I mean, it was a bad video game. Marvel Avengers. Oh, but everybody took that mud trash. I'm glad I didn't buy it. But and the, then they released the Black Panther shit. Yeah, and Did all it make of it that's better? free. Yeah, and it is. It is. Gameplay is pretty sick. But what's cool about it, everything that they're doing for the game is completely free. They just And I think this is just them doing a test run to see what an actual Avengers game is going to be. Because they got a new one coming out called uh, for, uh, for Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah. You know how, you know what they that told me? like an MMO. Or, 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 or MMO, I want to say. RPG. When Avengers first came out, they told me it was going to be a goddamn like Disney and shit online and shit. Yeah. And then everybody was like, oh, no, it ain't, it ain't what we thinking it is. I was like, oh, shit. And look, it's, it's pretty crazy. I, I'm honestly, I, I do want to give it a try because I only played the beta and it, it did have its mess ups. But um, watching the... Uh, but watching it, though, was really sick. Like, I mean, like, it, 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 had, it had something there. It, it definitely has something there. Oh, uh, no. They can, they can, they can, they can uh, act on it. No, I feel you. I feel you. But it's, there's another game doing it, too. Fuck, I don't remember. But even the Marvel game, no. they're doing, like, cheaper DLC and free DLC for, uh, for games that, they, uh, that they're kind of just wanting to see if people are really going to rock with it. Since I done bought that PS5? Yeah. I, I got damn to every game. I am oh, done with games. <laughs> Damn, I did got I did got a uh, I got all the shit that first came out. Sick. So all the shit they said that was gonna be good, it was like okay, it was cool. I want to play God of War on the PS5, man. God of War, all of them. I wanna, oh yeah, I want to play all of them on the PS5. I think that should be sick. But that's one game that's always good because I'm not gonna lie, God of War is always. I keep going back to it. It's, it's they should have turned it to like a. Uh, like not, not anime, but a, a series. series. Yeah, just a series. Not period. Anything. They could have did an animation for it. And I think it would have been a lot better. Just because. yeah, because all, all the shit he he got to do. Yeah, and, and the summer's gore real, and shit. Yeah, they could have got some good animators for it too, bro. Like, uh, what is it? I can't think. There's another. I don't know. They did. They did one for Heavenly Sword, which could have been good. Bruh. That one was wild. I'm so mad by Heavenly Sword. I bought it. Guess yeah. how fast I beat it. It'd be like in a day, huh? Shit, that, that game less than a day. I'd be like in a couple hours. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally beat Heavenly Sword like it was, bro. <laughs> bro I was so mad about Heavenly Sword. I, like, I beat it so fast, I thought I was playing. I was like, I fucked up somehow. I said, ain't no way this, 
Anyway, this fast. I, I, that's why I beat it. Like maybe it, it probably took like two hours or something, but it was not long. That game was not long at all. Sick. I mean, but back oh, then, well, not, well, not sick, but yeah, but back then they didn't have DLCs and shit. Now we got DLCs and shit. Him so probably gonna be on like ten. Man, you, they finna put up. Uh, uh, a lot of people are happy that uh, people that play uh, PC. They was like, man, uh, they're putting the new God of War. I think they're putting the latest God of War that just came out, and on they PC? finna put God of War five on P, uh, PC. They're also doing it with uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I think that's what it's called. The girl with the bow and arrow uh, fighting electrical oh. monsters. Oh hell yeah! I wonder how far they gonna go with um, how far they gonna go with God of War until he died? Cause now he got, now they got his son and shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't want to say this is gonna be the last game, but this might be like one of the last games we might see Kratos in. I so I hope it's a handoff. I hope it's like a solid handoff. Into the Badlands was a solid show. As the first season, I didn't watch the other ones, but I think I only watched season one, bro. Cause I yeah, like yeah, yeah. I watched this shit when I got popped. Yeah, I got popped, and then I was like, fuck it. I'm at home and I watched all this shit. And I really sat home and watched all this shit. Yeah. This is how you find out. Oh, dude, you ever seen... Uh, oh, wait, I didn't cut you. My fat cut you off. So, I'm not, you good, you good. You ever, you ever seen... Uh, uh, fucking... It's a show that Bruce Lee made. Well, it, it's not what he made. It was in concept. And then uh, his daughter found the scripts and story. And then they made it into a series. It was... Uh, Surprise, motherfucker. I don't... Damn, I don't remember. I don't remember his name. Fuck. I don't know, but Bruce Lee has a lot of shows on him right now. Oh, he'd be okay. Oh, fuck. I, I can't think of the name, dude. It's a good one, though. It's a. Uh, Did you watch Black Lightning? I didn't. I stopped liking it when they got to the racism stuff. Didn't they? It threw me. It threw me off when it was when they when it, when they had black versus white. So I was like, hold up. See, I didn't know that was going on. I I didn't like. Uh, t- uh, what's his name, bro? The. Uh, <laughs> You want to be a part of the show so bad. <laughs> I don't. Uh, damn. Um, what's his name? The the albino cat. Ah, oh, bro. You, you know he used to be with uh He was with the West Coast version of the Wu Tang. Really? Yeah. Oh, not, yeah. Yeah. He's exhibited a rapper, right? him. Yeah. He's he a, a rapper. rapper. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie. He would seem like hella racist on that show. He, <laughs> like he was. I, I know he probably didn't like it, but um, <laughs> I just. Though, what, the shit that he said, though, I was cracking up. Like, this is shit. Yeah. Like, I, I've, I heard this shit before from older dudes, so it, it was funny hearing hearing them say I was like, damn. That's, like, the type of shit my grandpa would say. Oh, no, but, no, uh, no but, like, the story started seeming uh, different. It just... I, I, I think what goes on with television... This is the reason I want to do web shows, right? Yeah. I feel like... I feel like when you watch television, right? Especially black cinema and black, like, TV shows. Yeah. <sighs> We can get away with so much, but at some point, I think you got to play ball. Yeah. Because, like, I like Black Lightning, right? It yeah. started off great, and then they had the stuff about it. They tried to not make it so visible, but it was visible. It was like... Oh, it was in your face. It's not, it's, okay, they had a storyline, right? Black girl got pre- Okay, black girl got pregnant, right? Yeah. But the crazy thing about it is, this black girl is having sex with a Caucasian man. The catch twenty two to this is they don't supposed to be speaking with each other because he's Caucasian and his race stay on one side and she black and they stay on the other side and they've been having like the Romeo and Juliet type shit going on right yeah. so bow she get pregnant mm-hmm. guess what bow she have a baby right guess what she get caught now because baby don't come out just black but she has twins and she has one black baby and one white baby bow shit crazy that is that homeboy story who. Uh, to buy, not, is his name to buy? No, not to, no, no, it's not, no, it's not like a background story. It's like a whole story they put into the show. Oh, it's sure. like a whole alternate adventure. Adventure uh, they oh, put into sure. the, 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 uh, the story because is it because of powers or no? Yeah, it's because yes, yeah, because of powers. Because okay. apparently these okay, this is what happened. A meta human went to a Caucasian place, right, a town yeah. or wherever. Yeah, and she turned the whole town. Into a slave. Okay. Once she injects you with a little bit of her power, yeah. you become like a slave or whatever. Like everybody in the town got superpowers. Yeah. So like all the black folks had to be on like some black shit and get guns and shit and defend themselves from them and stuff. So what caused them to make their own like little town where they divide it off, right? That's what the shit kind of threw me off. I was like, okay, it's a it's a cool concept, but okay, sound like, sound like some country shit. It's really some country shit. Yeah. Boom. After that happened, right? They found out she had a baby. She had two. Two babies and her daddy like her daddy can't talk like he he can't talk he a mute and shit yeah. so he all violently like game banging at her and shit she's like 
<laughs> I can't believe you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Her mama was like, po baby. Po baby. You know what I'm saying? And like, long story short, it was just, I feel like that story really, it could have been told better without having all the racial factors. Yeah. It could have literally been like, hey, it's two different towns and I think that's beefing. every CW show they do it. You say every CW show they do it? Every CW show they do that. I, I know feel, All I American, like they did it a lot, but that's, that's a I football didn't watch, show. I didn't watch it. I, I didn't care to watch it. You're not it. really missing nothing about All American. All American is literally like, what's that show back in the day everybody used to watch? Uh, it's like a, it's like a, a higher version of Degrassi, just based on football. Ah. So everybody got their own problems and shit and doing drugs and shit like that, but like it sticks on one main character. You know, the the grassy went on like all like the other characters. Niggas. Yeah, everybody had <laughs> everybody problems had and shit. a story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but that's what threw me off with that one. And then same thing with Luke Cage. Oh, uh, Luke Cage was being solid for a good minute, and then it did. It started doing that. It, it did some weird shit. I yeah. forgot, I'm trying to remember what it did. It did like some off the wash, and I was like, I what did the fuck? like the uh, the Jamaicans, man. Were they Jamaican? Right? Yeah, they, they spiced it up. They oh, spiced man. it up. But what, I, what I'm mad about? The voices were so nice. <laughs> This is what I'm mad about, right? Disney Plus has promised me Luke Cage is coming back. Yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, Jessica Jones coming back. Oh, yeah. Uh, All these other niggas coming back. And not I have not seen Iron nothing. Fist. They're not coming back with Iron Fist. Why not? Trash. Is it the Asian hate shit? Nah, bro. That dude was just a bad actor. I mean, Bruh. he's probably not a bad actor, but... Yeah. I mean, he was all right, but come on, he was playing a white boy that got fucking powers from a dragon, and he's living with the monks. Bro, I, bro, you've been living with the monk all this time, and you, and you still crying out here? She, homegirl gave him pity sex because he was crying in front of her. <laughs> She's like, "Damn, this nigga look miserable." I, gu- I guess I gotta, I guess I gotta let him clap me up one for the one time so he can, so he can. Oh, you know out. how long it's been? Bro, he's bro, a he's, monk, <laughs> bro. He manned up so quick after that episode, like, like after they clapped up, boy, boy, boy had courage. Like it wasn't nothing, but like he still, like I don't know, bro. He's just, it was just, he was just a whiner. His, his how his character was written was just poor. Like maybe, the, maybe the actor can get a second I chance, mean, it, but the, the fucking the story was the. the Oh, it was so bad. It's cool. They don't got to bring him back. They can just mention him in other shows. But no, like they're they're, they're going to recast. They're going to okay. recast everybody. Just, yeah, not everybody. No, they're keeping the the majority. Like, dude, the play is Punisher. He's coming back in the Moon Knight series. Um, uh, then Daredevil is going to be in the uh, She Hulk series, and it's going to be played by the same dude, uh, Jessica Jones. She was going to get a fourth season. And uh, it's now over due to the Netflix ending, but they're going to start throwing her into the She-Hulk series, and then they're going to kind of throw them through. I think they're going to kind of... They're like, going to throw them through other shows to slowly bring them back. Slowly bring them back into the MCU. And the, and like like I said, they got this multiverse of madness event happening. Uh, so they might fuck around and like do the same thing as the DC Universe, where like with Flash, Flashpoint, you, you kind of change after going back in time or fucking with so many universes... You kind of change the looks of some of of, of certain of the uh, world you're living in. Yeah, not even the world you're living in, but like like the people around you. They might have the same memories, but it's gonna be a different person. It's gonna be a different view of you. That is as like well, like they're gonna look like somebody completely different, but it ain't gonna change to you because it's still the same person. So yeah, they, they might recast. Yeah, that's, that's just called this. That's all the words. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna recast every yeah, fucking gonna, yeah, body. Gonna recast, but they, they keep. They're, but they're keeping the homeboy that played as Daredevil. Uh, they said they're keeping homeboy. They play as Luke Cage. He's doing a show called Evil right now. That show's pretty cool. He's doing a show Evil. Yeah, oh, which one to do? Play Luke Cage. Yeah, Mike Coulter. It's it's a uh, it's because you know his wife. Was, I heard he got that role for Luke Cage because his wife is the uh, the Netflix lady. Oh damn, word. Yeah, she Caucasian. Dang. I said, oh yeah. The more I you respect know. it, I respect. Yeah. Get your way to the top. Why did I go to that one? Fuck it. I'm not for real. You gotta hey, you gotta treat your girl right because she's gonna lead you to the promised land. She has led him. Really, to the I, promised land. I, like honestly, like he's. A, I I think they could choose somebody else for Luke Cage, but his his presence isn't bad, so I wouldn't mind him staying as Luke Cage. He he, he wasn't a bad actor for the character or anything. I just that fucking Iron Fist though, bro. Like it was just yeah, Iron Fist can go. I can I could deal with Iron Fist. I can I, like, I can go. keep him in the I can keep him in the series, but like it has to be. It, it could be the same actor. It just has to be some different script writers because whoever is writing for it, I, I'm telling you, it was bad. You know what? Are you in, you you never thought about that? What? Like writing? Oh, dude, I've always thought about writing. Why you don't write for like a TV show? Like do some scripts? You know, crazy. I listen to um. I be I be making shit. <laughs> this 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 a free shout out. But uh, you ever listen to uh? 
Off and Nerds. I'll try to remember the name. Off and Nerds. You ever listen to Off and Nerds? Nah, never heard of him. Oh, okay. You gotta listen to this dude named Ben Amin. He from Houston, Texas. Yes, sure song. And um, he a scriptwriter, and he he wrote for uh, American Gods. And then that bullshit happened with the um, with the um, uh, you know what happened? You know the black dude from the show got kicked off. All that shit happened, and wait, wait, wait. I think he left or something. Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. Oh yeah, it get funky around here. They be slamming those all type of shit. But yeah, no, nah, I think you should. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, whatever. But yeah, not think you should do that. I think you should get in the script right now. I would love to. We actually. could practice. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do this film and shit. Yeah. You come with some like little concert shows. Do I, got a, I got a horror. Something. I got a, like a horror bit that I I wrote a while back. Like when I, I, I when I was in basic training, uh, like I had to I had to keep myself busy. So I was like thinking about comics and shit. So I wrote my own comic, and then I ended up writing like my own like anime, like type beat. And then uh, I was also doing. Like horror stuff, I was like thinking about like what would be sick. Like we'd be like in basics, and like they have us outside for like Victory Forge, and we were in the woods. I'm like, man, it'd be a cool concept to use. Like digging out foxholes, but we stuck in this bitch. We started hallucinating, so on and so forth. And whoop de whoop. And I, I always wanted to do something like that too. It's it's, it's always been fun. It, it sucks when you you want to do so much, but you you gotta kind of stick to one thing to make sure you don't get too ahead of yourself. Yeah, you gotta uh, gotta put this. You gotta figure it out. Yeah, push it in. Hey, this shit was cool. I haven't watched none of it. Oh, bro, it's so good. The kids, the kids been watching this stuff. Like my niece and nephews, they've been watching it. So, oh, it's because so I need to get into it. I have not watched it. My brother be having a lot of time. Did you watch Loki? Huh? Did you watch Loki? I didn't finish it. Okay, so this is technically after Loki. Oh, the order series. Like if you go to Marvel Cinematic Universe like timeline order, it'll show you the order of everything, which is sick that they do. So literally the cinematic order, this is how you'd watch it. And you keep going all the way to the, the end, you'd see that uh what if is the, the latest thing. No, not what if. Yeah, what if. No, one division. So Loki, what if one division, Falcon and Winter Soldier is its actual timeline order. Which is sick. Because it explains why these two things can happen while that shit's going on, while nobody knows of it. While nobody knows of it, I really, I really loved One Division, just because it was different. Oh, that shit was nice. I, w- I wish this was like a regular person that did this and, and wasn't Marvel because this was executed really well. Yeah, it was yeah. executed really well till it got towards the end, and then I was like, oh, okay, now, now we back, now we back to the Marvel shit because like, but like they had a shit ton of writers for this. They needed it. <laughs> I'm not for sure because like, you dealing with fucking theories and hypotheticals and all types. Crazy, of shit. crazy. So. I already know what that shit like. Uh-uh. You seen that shit on social media? Talking about uh, somebody trying to uh, they trying to get somebody to watch all the the stuff of of uh, the Simpsons yeah. so they could predict the future. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know. I mean, a lot of shit in in uh, uh, the Simpsons has been a coincidence. Yeah, I was listening to Joe Budden. They had a debate about that and shit. Yeah. and you know you're right. We see all the stuff they got right. Yeah. But how much stuff did they get wrong? You yeah. got to count the wrongs too. Like, okay, they got a lot of stuff wrong. I don't know. I haven't seen one wrong thing yet. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I guess you ain't gonna see if I'm not pointing out. Exactly. You know yeah, like, yeah. You're not gonna see. If it's like, I got. I, I, so I got to go on YouTube and put in a heavy search of what did the Simpsons get wrong. <laughs> and I'll probably no, right, when you put in what they got right. That Green Ranger is sick. Oh yeah, he bit it up. That's why he. That's why he not in the box. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I trained with him. Well, I didn't train with him, but uh, he has a dojo out in Atascacita. Me and my friends were there. Oh, and, so that's uh, where it's at? Okay. Yeah, it's one in, uh, it's one, he has two in Houston. And uh, I went to the one in Atascacita, and fortunately, I got to see him, like, twice uh, there training with people and, like, and, like being really involved with, uh, with his, uh, his people there. It was cool. Oh. I was, like, I was, I was in high school. I think I was, like, senior, senior. I look like a crackhead in high school. I was... Man, I'm surprised. He probably took a picture with me thinking I was some homeless kid. Probably not. But I seen him Bro, at you a... You should have seen my head. You'd be like, it damn. He ain't know that bad. Hey. 
We was, all, <laughs> we was all savages, man. I got nah. some pictures too. <laughs> nah, bro, you gotta see what I look like. I mean, I just got done training, uh, but nah, that doesn't excuse what I look like. Yeah, and you in the presence of a powerful Power Ranger, bro. But I don't talk this, man. Since we got Power Rangers, man, what is your best Power Ranger memory you got, and how you feel about the series now? Series now? What do you mean, the series now? Like how? Like like the new? Have you stuff? been watching? Yeah, have you watched the new stuff? I watched one of them. And it was bad. I mean, don't why not watch it? No, I it. watched it because I like, Power Rangers is still heavily one of like the one things that influenced me to be like a good person, like a stand up human. You know, what I found out though, we too old now, so we can't watch this. We can't watch the TV show no more. You guys know we gotta watch. What? We gotta read the comic book from uh, Boom series. Boom series. Is it Boom series? Boom comics. It's from Boom comics. Boom comics. Bro, you don't watch this shit. Hold up. This is my this is my regular YouTube too, bro. Bro, if you don't want to watch Power Rangers, I mean, if you don't want to get the comics, I mean, you can get the comics, but uh, it's this guy on YouTube, right? Yeah. And he'll break down all the, he'll break, he'll, he, I mean, he he reviews every new issue of the Power Rangers when they come out. Yeah. But you you know you know Power Rangers do the same thing. Marvel oh, it's, doing. it's comic is sick. You know they uh, they're they're scrapping with the the the, um, the Justice League. Who? Um, um, the Power Rangers. They actually they actually like whooped up on them for a second. It looked like. Uh, I, I didn't see that. That mean that mean they uh that mean it's canon now. What? Because you because you heard um Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers in the in the same universe now. They should have been in the same universe, bro. They well they well, they, well they were they were a long time. I don't, you remember? You remember the, uh, the episode they had where they yeah. got whooped? The the Power Rangers got their ass whooped. Like it was it was it was a, a stage. Like they they just got their ass whooped. They, but they got whooped badly. It was good. It was cool. It was cool to see. I was really upset about it, but at the same time, I was like, "Damn, I really got your ass whooped by four niggas in turtle suits." Kill and the thing about it is, <laughs> I think if you see actual turtle beings, you wouldn't think they turtles. Hey, bro, all I know is they got their ass molly whopped. I, I didn't see that coming. That was one of the. That, was, that has to be one of my greatest moments. Uh, my other greatest Power Ranger moment is obviously the movie. Is, the, uh, is these two you need to follow? Comic Explain and Comic Story. Oh, I, I watch Comic Explain and I watch Comic Story. Yeah, some of the some of the power and stuff on here. Yeah, I be I be like he has a playlist and I'll watch the playlist. I like I have the playlist on play if I'm driving somewhere far and I'll just be listening to it mm-hmm. and I'm like I, I appreciate the even variant comics. I don't even know if you. Oh, yeah, I watch variant too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they they put they put you on game with a lot of stories. Like I'm liking this new uh, Batman uh, that they're doing from the Tim Burton era. Yeah, where, uh, where a homeboy was supposed to be uh, Billy D. Williams was supposed to be uh, Harvey Dent. I know, I ain't know about that. Yeah, and Marlon Wayans was supposed to be Robin. Oh yeah, you gotta get watch this too. Getting the robot. I watched a little bit of Getting the Robot. It's I funny. like him and I don't like him. It's like it's yeah. a love hate. He's not my favorite show, but he cool. He cool. He cool. He cool. I love Prim, bro. Prim, Prim, Prim. Oh, Prim. Cinema. Yeah, I'm not Prim is like. Hilarious. He, 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 oh, dude, I gotta find this one YouTuber I was telling you about Tariq. I think it's Tariq, Tariq, Tariq Toons or some shit like that. Oh, maybe I didn't follow it, but it's another channel called like the Green Ranger, and he explained a bunch of Power Ranger stuff too. Oh, and this right here, uh, the Gundam Info, man, follow that channel. If you want to watch like unreleased Gundam and shit, yeah. like stuff they like that's not here, you can watch some of it out here. They got like English versions and stuff. It, oh, shit. It don't be a strength, uh, uh, because they had the, some of the movies be on. I mean, they put posting the movies too. Damn, I'm. I'm and I guess they got a comic out now. I'm going through my. Oh, bro, have you, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get off that uh, topic of anime real quick. You listen to JPEG Mafia? Yeah, you put me on JPEG Mafia. I haven't been keeping up, but I listen to some of his old stuff. Listen to his album, this new album that came. You got out. new one? Yes, it, he dropped it on his birthday. It is so damn good. I'm very upset though. I'm very vexed because uh, there's one track that he posted on YouTube that's not on the album, and I can only listen to it on YouTube. Am I, I don't I, I don't know how to do the picture in picture shit on my, my on my phone. I mean the picture in picture shit to, to to like watch a video at the same time while you while you while you still doing random shit on your phone from YouTube. Oh, that's a new feature. I don't even know how to do that yet. I'm not so, doing so, it on the iPad. That's what I don't do it on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to learn that shit because the, the only way I can listen to the song is on YouTube. I have I didn't see it on Spotify and I don't use Apple Music because I use Spotify. I will only use. Oh wait, I don't want to kill your sponsors. What are you talking about? Wait, I only use Spotify. 
I mean, that, that's you. I'm going to say, oh, our platform is on every, all the street. Program. We on Spotify. And then Spotify or, it could do some fly stuff. Okay. Really, okay. Because, like, but you know, you, you could do polls and shit now. Yeah. All type of shit. You seen the shit where you could, uh, you, you send a code to your homie and they can join your playlist and say, like, you're Oh, yeah. Else, you, you talking about the, the help somebody help make, make the playlist? Yes. Oh, yeah. Dude, not only that, like, like say, like, you're hanging with somebody. Y'all got one speaker, bro, but, like, y'all trying to play y'all songs. You could either use your homeboy phone and cue that shit up, or you could use, um, you can use uh, this code, and you send it to somebody, and they'll be in the same party as you, and they can play their song next from their phone. It's probably one of the coolest things I've seen any, like, like involvement and like people connecting would you like I got homies that I still I send playlists to like religiously just because like we vibe off the same music so it's been cool using that I don't think you can do that with Apple Music no nah, nah. they do some they do some upgrade stuff oh Spotify is on their shit bro I oh like yeah it. but they on their shit but shit show this Maxo Cream album was good too uh it was really good have you listened to Tizo Touchdown oh Oh, he was about to. You know, he with kid. Tyler now. Is yeah, yeah, oh, no, he was on the album. Right? Hey, right, right, that shit going up. That bro, shit going up. His, uh, he has my my favorite song from him that no one likes. Not, not I won't say no one likes, but I played it for a few people. Is and it keep the uh, keep the men off the street? Nah, I love keep the green off the streets, bro. That shit is heavy. I listen to that to skate. Like it puts me in the right vibe to get a line out. And I've been trying to find that hole on TikTok to uh, to put with like a skate clip. That song's so damn good. Um, sucker. Yeah, I remember that one. Hey, that's the one that... Don't that's be how a I got, sucker. Yeah, don't be bro. a sucker. Yeah, that, bro, that, that shit is hard. That shit is tough. I don't... I, oh, man, that shit is so damn nice, that song. I, I, this, I'm just a fan is really good, too. That's, that's another thing I wanted my podcast to be for, too. Like, solely it was going to be, like, for movies, me just putting you on game to shit that you you never seen, like animation. Uh, I'm going to post, like, three movies tonight. But uh, damn, I, I also wanted to talk about shit that's Houston related. Like, I want to bring a, a, a cult to to Houston because we do have a music scene. Um, we do have a shit ton of skaters out here, but I don't feel like we're not really boasting about our our Houston artists. Like, the only person we really know of from Houston right now, or I won't even just say from Houston, but from Texas in general, is Travis Scott and. Now Tizo touchdowns on a rise. I can't think of anybody else that that like that uh that should like that should be known of. You know what I mean? Like they know these two people because they're outside of Houston now. But like we got so many more artists than that. Like we got a lot of upcoming artists. Uh, fuck. Uh, and you know what we gonna do? I don't get with you. You don't get with me. Yeah. We gonna monopolize. We are gonna take over the game because uh, pretty I much this is what I'm doing. So. I got some shit for you, man. We ain't gonna speak about it on on film and shit, but I got you. We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna get some shit uh, together. But hey, uh, before we get out of here, hey, let them know who you are, what you do, where to find you, your social medias, all that, my boy. Let's get to it. Uh, damn. Uh, you can find me on Instagram. I got two accounts. I'm sorry, I'm making this shit slow. Uh, Peace dot tombstone, and then my other account is A O P. This, uh, and when you spell peace, you're gonna be spelling it with a P E A X C E. You do a period, then tombstone, and that's how you find me. Yeah, we're gonna get in uh, for your podcast too. Oh yeah, A O P. This, and that right there is A Y O, and then peep this all in one together. And you'll be able to find me. It's like a trial call quest. And, and then your film. Oh fuck! No, that's it. I don't know where we're gonna work on the film. See the film coming soon. The film coming soon. <laughs> but hey, don't hey don't hey don't worry, guys. All his information will be in the bio. I and this, this 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 gonna be up by the end of today. I appreciate you today, Fisher. So, so uh, Fisher, so, man. Hey, this is boy Boomy Trill figure. It's my boy here. Uh, peace. I'm gonna go by. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad you came by, man. I really appreciate it, bro. You my first official guest. I like, was the first official one. Cool. Braggadocious. Right, so. We out here getting it. Sweet. Hmm. Braggadocious.